Hello everyone and welcome again in a new video tutorial. Today guys, we're, I'm going to show you how you can solve the problem related to the yellow triangle. As you might have been facing that you cannot connect to your internet and whenever you connect to your wireless, your Wi-Fi, it says unidentified network or no internet access. And whenever, even though you see that you're connected, you go to your browser, you type for example Facebook or whatever, it says no internet. So first of all, what you have to understand that this problem might be related to multiple issues. The first one, the wrong IP address set or data in the IP data uh, entered incorrectly. It might be also related to your router, to your firewall that it doesn't allow uh, inbanding or outbanding internet uh, ex uh, exchange or internet. It might be also related to your antivirus it might be also related to your drivers, that your computer drivers are not up to date. And it might be also related to multiple people connected to your network if your network is not secured and protected. And this might deprove you from connecting. So in this video, we will first treat the, the problem related to IP address set. So first of all, all what you will have to do, despite if you have Windows 8, Windows 7, or Windows 10, you will go to your con to your search tab and you type or you look for Control Panel. You will open it, and we will go to the network sharing data. So here, if you have check that you have this view, this view is by category. You can always change from large icon or small icon to category. And we'll go to the category network and the internet. And from here, we'll go to network and sharing center. And here, as you can see, this is my internet and it says no internet access, access type. So I will go to, I will click on Wi-Fi on my Wi-Fi LAN connection and I will check this. Uh, before you do this, please make sure that you go to your router and you check there is always a paper a paper sticked on your uh, or glued on your router and it shows the router type or the modem type and it shows the power check your IP address this is my IP my my router IP starting always with 192 in my case 168 please check your IP address it might be different than this one and make sure that you enter it correctly or you copy it correctly so let's go to our let's go back to our wireless settings here I will click on properties and here I will go to IP, IP4 so I will go to internet protocol version 4 TCP slash IPv4 IP mean internet protocol that easy and we'll click on properties after selecting so here I have used the following IP address which is incorrect. It doesn't match with mine. 192.168. Here I have a different number than 3. So it doesn't match. I hide the two last numbers for security reasons. But yeah, it doesn't. Mine doesn't match. So I will change it. And make sure that you enter the line as it appears. So if you hear, for example, you have 192.168.1.1. So here we'll enter 1, for example, as we have in our router. And here, make sure that in subnet mask, make sure that you have 255.255.255.0 subnet mask. And in the default getaway, we will just copy our IP address, but we will change just this last digit. So 192.168 in my case, here I will just type 1. For example, here, just for differentiation, I will type 100, and here I will leave it 1. So basically, in the default getaway, the last digit must be always a 1 and the IP address, the last digit could be 100, could be 80 but please make sure to, to not reach the limit because as I remember the limit should be about 200 or 250 so for example if we try 200, 300 it doesn't work so it says here that the maximum is 200 is between uh, or the value should be between 0 and 255 so I will just type 100 and here in the DNS server, I will suggest you to enter these numbers, 8, and here again, 8, 8, 8, and here we will enter 8, 8, and the last two digits will be changed to 4, 4. So preferred DNS, uh, 
server should be 888 and alternative DNS server should be 8844. Please, this is only a number which I'm giving you. You can always change the DNS server and the alternative DNS server by making a simple research on the internet and checking what is the best for your location, for the place where you are located, what is the best preferred DNS server and alternative DNS server to get faster internet or to enhance your connection. So here we'll select validate settings upon exit and we'll click OK. So as you can see, uh, a diagnosis have been already started and this will detect and solve any problems related to my connection. And my connection, as you can see now, there is no yellow triangle. I have internet access and I can go now online and look for Google. So let's open Firefox. So, and let's type Google. Oh. So as you can see guys, here it says that the DNS server isn't responding, so we can just close this. The troubleshooting has completed, we can just close it. And now I'm connected to Google, so let's try um, to look for a famous guy, Albert. And yeah, my internet is back. As I can see, my internet is working and I can browse as normal. I hope this video tutorial was useful to you guys. If you are still having the same problem, please check the next videos which might help you to solve the issue. Thanks for watching and talk to you in a new video tutorial.